how to get girls in college. College is a totally different ball game than high school, my friends. And for those of you babies around here, well, I guess if you're in middle school, this video just doesn't really pertain to you. But you can listen and enjoy it and then use it in six years. Subscribe around here if you're new because I do lots of weird things. I do relationship advice, but we have a good time. But yeah, college is definitely different when it comes to like getting girls. I think that, uh, you know, you're dealing with women now. High school, even though it's only a few years, the difference between somebody junior year of high school to like sophomore year of college is huge. You just, you change so much in that time. And one of the things that I think is really hard for guys is it's so much broader. It's so much bigger. It's so many more different personalities. In high school, you might've been really, really comfortable right? You've known the same people for four years, you have your group of friends, you have your classes, you have your teachers, you're super comfortable and for the most part you like know most of the people there. It's your comfort zone and then you go into college and you don't know anyone. Maybe one person in your class in one of your classes. You don't know any of the teachers, you have no emotional connection to anyone, you have no comfort usually. And I find that this is a problem actually for people who are more popular in high school. I find that people who are like didn't really care about popularity, maybe had outside friends, have a much easier time in college because they're already used to like not knowing a lot of people and not really caring. Versus when you're like the top dog in high school and then you go into college and you're a tiny, tiny fish in a big pond, everything changes and your confidence kind of goes down. Which I personally love to see to the douchey boys from my high school. But anyways, I won't do it. It's mostly strangers. And not only is it strangers, but it's strangers from different states different cities, from different countries. It's people who don't know anything about you. They don't know any of the places that you hang out. They've never heard of that burger place you go to. They don't know that you were the co-captain of the cross country team at Sherman Way High School. They don't know and they don't care. Another big problem that I think people have is that there's not a lot of time to get to know people. In high school, you have that five minutes between every class. You have the cafeteria for lunch where everybody congregates. You have after school because a lot of people don't have cars yet and they're waiting for their parents or you all take the bus. In college, people drive from their house five minutes before their class. They leave right after, get in their car and go home. There's like not much time to get to know people unless there's like a social event going on. Or of course you're in a dorm, but I feel like knowing everybody in your dorm and going to parties all the time and like having a click and blah, blah, blah is very movie-ish. And I feel like a lot of times college isn't like that. A lot of people don't end up in the dorms, whether it's because it's like, unsafe because there's, there's a lot of like there's a lot of assaults and a lot of like theft and stuff like that a lot of times it's too expensive so anyways the first piece of advice that i have is timing don't do it the first week don't do it the last week and don't do it during midterms or finals nobody cares about anything other than getting situated figuring out where your classes are not being late finding out the syllabus figuring out what kind of work you're gonna have to put into that class what kind of teacher it is during exams, all that matters is getting good grades. Nothing matters and nobody wants to talk to you. And if a girl is cramming super hard for a midterm and taking notes seriously during class and you're trying to have sex with her, it's not going to work. Second piece of advice, do plan an actual date. Hanging out at the same place that everybody hung out after school and high school is not gonna cut it anymore. These are real women, you see? What accent was that? But seriously, you cannot take her to a movie theater at your local shitty theater that smells like feet and then hang out in that grassy patch behind the theater where everybody smokes and where you got your first blow job. It's not gonna cut it. You gotta actually let it try. Next step is playing it cool. You don't have to automatically walk up to her, ask for her number, she gives it to you, you go on a date, you get laid, you get married. Like it's very, it can be a lot more chill than that and a lot easier than that. Ask her about an upcoming test or if she knows that she's reading or if she's doing well in the home because you seem to be struggling. Strike up a conversation. If you guys don't sit in the same area, maybe as you guys are walking out, just literally like, be like, oh, by the way, you look really you thought, and then walk away. Don't expect anything from her. A lot of times I feel like guys compliment a girl and then just stand there and like wait for her to like flash her tits. It's like, just compliment her and then act like you were only there to compliment her and you aren't expecting anything in return. And she's gonna think about that compliment all day. And the next time she sees you in class, she's gonna be like, oh my God, like that's the guy, like he was so sweet. Okay. Yeah, so Basically, just be patient, be her friend, be that cool guy in class who, like, you smile at when you see her. It doesn't have to be so cut and dry, like in the movies. 
There's also nothing wrong with being friends first. I hate the term friend zone because I think that it puts a lot of pressure on women and I think it makes women feel bad about wanting to be friends with someone. But I also think that it's stupid because there's nothing wrong with being friends with a girl first and I think a lot of the best relationships start as friendships. Can I help you? What? Come on. You can't just be right there. Your head's in the video. Okay. You can't sit here. This is... This is not... This is not gonna work out. Fight for me or die. What's that? I will do life. What's that? Fight. Don't ask dog. I'm kidding. Basically, don't be a dick about her wanting to take her time getting to know you and being your friend first because I think that a lot of times that makes it cooler. I have a story about my very first semester ever in college with this huge asshole. So basically, we were in a class and he was nice, you know, just kind of cute, he was really smart and he like paid attention a lot of class and like participated in the conversations and we sat next to each other and we would like chat and stuff like that and he was cool but I had a boyfriend and he was really really you could just you know you could sometimes you could just tell somebody's into you and I could just definitely tell that he was into me and he was probably gonna eventually ask me out and at this point I hadn't really brought up my boyfriend because he hadn't come up in conversation and this guy wasn't like openly flirting with me it just kind of seemed like he was into me so you know I was trying to be his friend but you know it started getting a little more flirty and so one day I was like, okay, I'm just gonna casually bring up that I have a boyfriend. And by the way, he was really, really nice and he would like walk into my car after class and he would like then go to his whatever we were like in the same fucking garage. And so we were in the elevator going to the garage and he asked what I was doing that weekend. And I casually was like, oh, my boyfriend are gonna go blah, 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 what about you? And his face instantly, like he didn't even try to hide at all his like just sheer, like, okay, I don't give a fuck about you anymore. He was like, I don't know walked out of the elevator, didn't walk me to my car like he always did, and literally sat in a different seat in the next class and talked to me like maybe three times throughout the rest of the semester. And it's like, what a huge dick, because it's like, he didn't value me, he didn't value our conversations. He was interested in me on a relationship slash sexual slash intimate level, and that was it. And you know what? Me and that guy ended up waking up a little bit later, and if he ended up staying my friend, he could have ended up being next on my uh-uh uh list. God, what the fuck is wrong with me? That's why he actually never talked to me again. I'm a huge douchebag. No, but like he he was just like an asshole kind of about it. And I liked his personality. I thought he was really cool. But obviously I wasn't cool enough to be his friend. I was only cool enough for whatever the fuck he wanted that involved me not having a boyfriend. And if he would have waited out, who knows what would have happened. And not even waited out in a sense of like, ha ha, I'm gonna wait till they break up. Just like be chill about it. If you like a girl and you think that she's cool, get to know her and be her friend because you genuinely want to be in her life. And if something more happens in the future, that's great as well. Another piece of advice I have is don't always be like the lazy stoner slob. There were a lot of cute guys in college and they just smelled and you could tell they had literally rolled out of their like twin dorm bed and put on their underwear from the day before and walked into class. You are being so annoying. I'm taking you to the dog park in 20 minutes. Melina wins. Hey, tell it. I'm not saying that you have to wear a suit and a tie and look perfect. 8 a.m. classes are shit, and you're gonna wanna wear your sweats and flip flops and not give a shit. But if you're interested in a girl on campus, it's not too hard, you know, a few days a week. Put a little bit of cologne, put a brush through your hair. My last piece of advice is very like momish advice, but it's join clubs. And there are two reasons. One, clubs in college are easy as fuck. You don't actually have to do anything, but be there for like the once a week, 20 minute meeting. And then it looks really, really good on your resume that you were like active and social and like passionate about the causes. But on top of that, it's a really great place to meet people. Because like I said, it's harder in college to be social unless you're like in a frat or a sorority, it's harder to just like start meeting people and talking to people. But with clubs, it makes it a lot easier and you already are interested in the same thing. And don't join a club because a bunch of hot girls are in. They're gonna instantly know that you joined it for that reason. Don't join the Friends of Animals Club because a super hot girl in your chemistry class joined it and you fucking hate animals. It probably means that you guys don't have a lot in common. Join a club that you want to join and then find a cute girl in the club and you guys already have something in common to talk about. College is just like a totally different ball game and it's a lot harder to navigate I think especially when you've been comfortable in the same high school for four years with the same girls and you know how to get them so that is my advice for getting girls in 
college. I hope that it helped you. If you have any other advice that you think I missed that's important, leave it in the comments below for anybody looking to get some girls. If you did, please leave a like on it. So it's 3,000 likes for more relationship advice and let me know what the next relationship advice video should be. What do you need help with? I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, bye! Lena wins. Flawless victory. Fatality.